Sport and an army yachting team are battling with the British weather as they take on the seven-star round Britain and Ireland race. Just over 24 hours into the competition, the yacht British Soldier is currently off the Norfolk coast. Our reporter Claire Sadler has been to Cowes on the Isle of Wight to catch up with the crew and see the race get underway. British Soldier is taking on around 30 other yachts in the non-stop race often described as one of the toughest and most challenging in the world. This is the first time an army yacht sailing team has taken part in the 1800 nautical mile race. This is right round the coastline. There are rocks, there are islands, uh, there's some pretty nasty tidal headlands that we've got to get round. So it's a, it's a real navigator's challenge to, uh, to keep the boat and the crew safe. Some teams have set themselves the task of breaking the seven-day record, but British Soldier is hoping to complete it in 11 days. Part of the reason this race is so challenging is it takes place in some of the busiest waters in the world. And not only that, the British weather plays a part too. This year it's so bad, they're having to reverse the course. And that means the yachts are going anti-clockwise around Britain and Ireland. The crew lost one team member even before the race started. He couldn't make it back from Afghanistan due to operational pressures. So this officer cadet stepped in. She's quite a small boat, so with the nine people on board, it can get quite cramped. Um, and she's also a very wet boat. So it'll be, it'll be very, very soggy down below. Um, below deck, there's a lot of water coming in. Um, that will probably pose some problems, but everyone gets on really well. It's been a successful racing season for British soldiers so far. She's currently lying in second place in the Royal Ocean Racing Club Class 1 Series. A good performance here could boost her to first. Claire Sadler, Forces News, Cows.